Hello. Today we are going to be reviewing this overview, um, talking about the purposes um, of assessment.
So I'm pausing here for a moment because the teaching cycle is something that I've talked to you about at length. Um, it is an approach that is included in a number of um, state early learning standards. Um, it's also um, referred to and is similar when we're talking about the assessment cycle. Um, however, this particular presentation was developed as part of the state training on the Wisconsin model early learning standards, which is why that's being referred to. Um, but I don't want you to think that this is only um, applicable um, in terms of the state of Wisconsin and their standards. Um, also, we've been talking about um, as we think about early learning standards um, that the DC early learning standards um, or the objectives for learning and development that are part of a creative curriculum and um, teaching strategies gold for those of you using those tools are really talking about the same thing. So I'm going to pause again um, to kind of talk about what this means, right? Um, so we've watched the video as part of the discussion um, around authentic assessment um, where they talked about that um, assessment is useful, that it happens in places where children spend time, that it happens with people that they know, um, that the data is useful, all of those things. And so that's really what we're talking about with assessment being authentic. Um, that you're using multiple sources of information. So as we've been talking about the different ways of documenting your observations, right, that you are um, using those different strategies, that you're observing the child over time. So it's not just at one particular time of the day, um, or um, doing one specific kind of activity. Also, we want to make sure that we are talking to families and gathering assessment information from other people. Assessment information is anchored to an assessment instrument. Really talks about the fact that you should have a formal system for assessment. Um, now, programs that have the ability, both financially and in terms of time, um, to implement a formal assessment tool like Teaching Strategies Gold um, or, um, you know, uh, HiScope has theirs is called Core. That's really the ideal. Um, if you're not able to do that using multiple ways to document and really having a portfolio approach where you are gathering all of those different pieces of information, whether it's an anecdotal note, a work study, a photo, a video, um, a developmental checklist, and having those all in one place to really tell the story of um, that child's development over time. And then in terms of assessment as systematic, continuous and guided by an assessment plan means that you need to have a plan in place about how you're gonna do assessment because your days are very busy. So you want to think about how often are you doing observations? How are you taking notes? Um, how are you recording your documentation? When um, do you have time that you can then copy that into a full anecdotal note um, or organize that work sample and, and place them all in a portfolio um, or enter data into your formal assessment tool? Right, so for this to really happen, um, 
you you have to have a system. You have to have a plan for how it's going to. Um, so thank you for watching this video going over the purposes of assessment. Um, please make sure that you complete the quiz that um, will ask two questions for you to demonstrate that you have um, watched this video and understood the content. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of your day.